everyone, this is Vicki, <coughs> excuse me, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I'm here today with a Christmas project for my door. I have had these uh, stamped out on cardstock, colored, I think I colored these with, well, what did I color them with? with? Uh, watercolor or some kind of a thin paint years ago, a couple years ago. And I did them in shades of green. I did green, yellow, red, and blue. And then I cut them all out and never did anything with them. So I had a whole bunch of these. I thought, well, let me make something with them. I had an idea from a few years ago when I made these, but I never did do it. I put everything in a 12 by 12 box. This right here, 12 by 12, that's labeled Christmas. And every time I find something that's Christmas worthy, I throw it in there all year long. And then when Christmas comes around, I have stuff to work with and I don't have to look around for it because it's all in one place. All right, so you're gonna watch me make something out of the light bulbs and I will talk to you on the other side. Let's do it.
Okay, so here's my project all finished. Wait, I got, I got to go back over it with some um, the the uh, dryer to get rid of the glue webs. That's the one thing I hate about hot glue guns is all those stinking spider things. They just mess stuff up. All right, so I took, you saw what I did. I just took a piece of white paper, typing paper. Well, wait, they don't call it that anymore. Computer paper glued on the, um, the light bulbs. No random rhyme or reason. Then after they were all glued down, I decided, well, it's only one dimensional, so let's give it a little more dimension. So I took my pop dots, you know, my little square pop dots, and I put those underneath a few of the light bulbs to bump it up a little bit. I thought, well, you know, you can't just have light bulbs and no cord. So then I found this stuff, and look, I got a blob of glue on it. See, this is terrible. Um, I had this, this is some kind of wax something, and I decided that this would be perfect because I don't use it that often, and it looks close enough to, um, to black cord that this ought to do it. So I used that, cut it up, and wound it around, this is the back, indiscriminately with the glue gun. And then at the end, I thought, well, we need a plug. So the plug was the hard, this is probably not the cutest plug I could have ever made, but, you know. Um, I tried putting the washers in there. When I glued it down, they didn't stick because I had the, the thread underneath the washer, and the washers weren't laying down flush with the cardboard. So I thought, well, that's not going to work. So I ended up taking those off. I don't know where they are. They're, they're on here somewhere. I ended up taking those off. Here they are. I took those off and then I just traced this guy again and kind of colored it half, you know, that expression. And then glued the two, two parts together and it hangs down. It's heavy enough with the, with the um, cardboard, chipboard, <gasps> cereal box, <laughs> blueberry Cheerios. And um, that's good enough because it's going to go on my door to my craft room. Right? And, you know, it's just going to hang up there during the Christmas season. This is probably the only Christmas decoration I'll put up this year. We have no children coming to visit, no grandchildren coming to visit. The people we usually spend Christmas with are going to have a new grandbaby, so we will not be seeing them. And so why am I killing myself to drag out all that stuff to have to kill myself to put it all away? makes no sense to me. So I doubt seriously there'll be any other decorating. Uh, we might do a miniature Christmas tree with some mini ornaments I've been collecting, but that'll be it. We're not going full tilt. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this this little um, project. It was something that was just, I had the supplies on hand and it just came to me. I needed to do it today. All right, well, I hope you guys have a good Christmas season for those who celebrate. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.